Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? Mr. G Squared here, and welcome back to Command & Conquer Rivals. It is July 2021. It is the July season of 2021. We have 23 days left in this season, and I have a good feeling we are going to hit the Master League this season. Just got that feeling. But today, on this video, we're going to be playing Showdown. Uh, Showdown, I've always had a lot of fun in it. And I'm hoping I'm going to have some fun again this time. I'm going to get my showdown deck out, which I don't think I have built anymore, actually. Uh, I think this was my showdown deck, but I... Oh yeah, this was it. I feel like I should trade something out here, though, because... It's going to probably be problematic for me with the snipers. I've got pretty good everything here, to be totally honest, when you have no restrictions on Tib. This is a pretty darn good deck. So I might drop an MG squad, actually. Uh, that means 60 Tiberium each time. You know what, I think I will keep the snipers, actually. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep the snipes. And let's get started. We got <clears throat> ten matches to go. Ten matches to do. Uh, let's do it. It's showdown time. I'm going to try and do them all in this video. Hopefully there's still enough people playing this one <laughs> that, uh, that I actually get enough people. I know sometimes on the last two it'll take like ten minutes of me just sitting there before I even get an opponent. So the first things first, get the drone swarms out, see what I'm up against. Razorback, okay. Not really too concerned about that. Let's get some more drones here. Counter this up. Go ahead and kill that Razorback now. And we'll get a sniper now, now that we know what's out here. And that the Razorback is going to die. Okay, there we go. Here comes the Razorback again. Okay, let's just kind of kite around here. And block. Boom. There we go. Simple as that. That was a great, great build. Great deck to fight. Boom. Alright, let's see what's next. The only problem is that's 80 Tiberium for that sniper, so they have to pay off right away. <laughs> Am I enjoying Command & Conquer Rivals? Uh, I wish there was this, like, I'm just going to say no. <laughs> I wish you could, like, actually tell it. Like, yeah, but I don't want to rate you. I mean, I already rated it back in, like, 2018, so I don't really know why it's still asking me. Alpha 1! Let's go, Javan. Whatever your weapon alliance name is. Let's see what's coming out. Bikes? Okay. Here. Now we'll just claim the points. <laughs> Build a cane tower. Why do you do that? Let's kill everything. Boom. GG! 
bikes are kind of a, a pain point for this deck. You could mass bikes. I have lost this uh, this deck with people massing missile squads and showdowns. Uh, this deck specifically. Now I didn't have snipers in the deck. I had the Mohawk gunship, which now that was actually one reason I put the snipers in the deck because of those mass missile squads. Even though drone swarms beat them, the player that I was playing against also had. Um, Slingshots, so they had like one slingshot and missile squads, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Okay. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful! Didn't even die. Grenadiers? How do you build grenadiers? <laughs> well, that was a little silly to build. <laughs> I'll just build my building, why not? That was good. I think Murr, I believe, was the player that we faced in the first match. So we've played the same player twice, which typically means the player pool is not very enriched right now, which means I may have very, very long wait times, and this video, while I won't make it a two-parter... Oh, hold on, let's uh, cancel that and get those. While I won't make it a two-parter, I might have to pause the recording, or pause it, I might end it, and then... Uh, pick it back up again later, but we'll see what we wind up doing here. Let's get some more flames. Uh, speed that up and get another match. Let's see what we got. Let's take a swig of coffee while we wait too. <sighs> mm, that's good. Alright, here we go. Ethan 1000 of the No Alliance Alliance. I believe there was actually an alliance at one point called no alliance, <laughs> but I think they had an icon, if I remember right. It was actually quite comical. Okay, so he's got dogs on the field. Well, we'll start with one orca to clean them up. Do one of these numbers then and claim this point. And uh, there we go. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, whenever they drop that ion cannon, if they don't get at least 130 tib worth of kills, it's not worth it. And uh, he got 70 plus, well, technically plus 40 because I only built one thing out of that. So he got. 110, but at the same time he had no more units to produce, and I had, you know, he killed one unit. He didn't kill my manufacturing base, so I guess it doesn't really count, because I could have built another MLRS, uh, which I probably actually just should have done. Uh, thinking back on that match, uh, hindsight 2020, I probably should have put out another MLRS, because they do far better against pit bulls than orcas. They take a small amount more damage even though they're harder to maneuver, he's not going to be able to ion cannon twice in one match in a showdown. So it, it definitely would have been worth rebuilding it. And it's things that I got to remember. I tend to stray away from building them. And it, it is a weakness of mine in these showdown matches where I'm just like, oh no, I can, I can pull this off with orcas and air units, no problem. And I really, even if I can, it's one of those, I shouldn't be doing that. Well, I guess he hit one. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, and he turned it. That was his big mistake right there. Let's do one of these. Boom. Got it. Okay. He should have had all three of those banshees hit me at once. I would have been in a bit more trouble. I could have still gotten a slingshot out, which was why I didn't build any more drone swarms. I had exactly enough for another slingshot. Uh, so let's clear some of this now that I got my gas up. Okay, we'll keep sniper team. Okay, none of this is really going to help me right away. Uh, we'll keep eye on cannon um, just in case I use it. I don't expect to. Uh, now I have in Showdown. It is a lot less common. TC222 Biden's Patriots. So I, I can't stand when people put politics into games. Like, come on. It's a game. Don't don't ruin it with whatever side you're on. Finish. Very helpful. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a good match. He had a pretty versatile deck. He just... It's the players that bulk build everything. And I used to do it. Like, I am not innocent here. I used to bulk build everything. Like, I would have had an MLRS out there and on that field before I even knew what they had. And not scouting and showdown is your biggest issue. Even if you just sit there, like I have had a player who built drone swarms like I did and scouted and we both just sat there with the drone swarm in the middle of the map like, all right, who's going to make the next move? <laughs> and, you know, neither one of us wanted to. Now this is a murder again, so I'm going to build two drone swarms. We got them out on the field. Now we'll attack with our swarm. Kill the Razorback. I will preliminary get the missile, or the snipers for the missile squad kills. Nope. Okay, that was definitely a lot of his Tiberium right there. I gotta save up enough just in case he can get something. Because if he can get another talent, I'm in trouble. But I don't think he can. I had enough for a... Um, what are these guys? Slingshot and another... Um, or another hammerhead. Which is why I just kind of waited on that 100 tib. Uh, was so I could see if he had enough for a talent. Because if he had enough for a talent, I was actually in trouble. Because he was going to one-shot my hammerhead. And then nothing else could hurt him. Luckily that didn't happen though. So we're good. How many gems do I have? Do I have enough to buy? Uh, anything? No. Okay. Well, it's because I spent all my money on the last, <laughs> last event. Um, I like the showdown event purchases because they give you the uh, cloning vats. And I still don't have... You know, <laughs> Believe it or not, as long as I've played this game, I still don't have all level 15 units. And it's because of all the breaks that I've taken. Um, you know, even just playing, even not even just the recording and the YouTube and all the other garbage that I do with this uh, <laughs> this phone and this channel. I uh, just don't even, I don't play that much anymore. 
uh, which you all know if you're a regular on this channel. If you're not, if this is your first video and you're watching a Rivals video, you know, welcome. Uh, I have a lot of content stemming back to 2018 on Rivals. I've been playing since uh, the early beta, and it, it is a fun game. I like the game. I know it got a lot of scrutiny at the beginning, uh, mainly because it had the Command & Conquer title. Literally, if this was any other game and these units were named differently, even if they had the exact same, like, uh, well, maybe not the same look, but the same stats, the same abilities, uh, this game is astronomically good. Um, the mechanics behind it. I do think there's still some broken components to it, absolutely, and there probably always will be. But, um, why would you do this? Like, that is a lot of scouting units that can be killed by two other units in this game. Definitely gonna lose that one. Good grief, this guy has a ton of cash. More drones. That's it. That's it. He can't have any more than that. Those Banshees are so much less intimidating after that update. Like, you see three Banshees coming, and you're an air deck, you're typically, like, ready to quit. <laughs> now it's just, like, three Talons coming at you, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, one, one and a half guys will take care of that, no problem. What was I saying? I kind of got into that match a little bit. That was a good one. Um... I was talking about the state of balance. Yeah, I was talking about unit balancing in the game. Uh, you know, it's it's probably never going to be perfect and fine tuned. You know, let's look at um, let's look at games that have lasted really almost the test of time, which is um, as far as video games go. Um, you know, Blizzard games, Warcraft. Starcraft, two games that I really, really enjoy and hope to eventually get more content on on this channel. Um, they have balancing down pretty well. They make changes, they test the changes, and if the change works, they implement it. Here in Rivals, I don't, I don't know what their testing is like, I don't know any of that level of detail. But they do just kind of, they're like, let's take for instance when the Razorback came out. That unit was so overpowered, it was ridiculous. Nothing. If you had a high-level Razorback in your deck and you could keep it alive, you were pretty much going to win because they couldn't build infantry. And then all you got to worry about is tank and air. Um, really, one unit should not shut down an entire class of unit. And that is what was happening. I'm going to take a, take a note out here and build this. Oh, that was a mistake on his part, I believe. He should have definitely hit the MLRS there. Now all I have to do is sit back and wait. I have no more money though. Okay, he didn't either. <laughs> I just realized I had absolutely zero. Uh, I can basically build one of each of my units. I don't think I've ever put that together at the end, except the, the sniper on this deck. I can build the, the airfield, the war factory, and build one of each. <laughs> and I'm out of money. Uh, that's awesome. 
actually, because those units working together are incredibly well balanced. The only thing that really gets you is infantry. That guy didn't have any infantry, though, so it worked out great. Which you notice when he whipped his phantom out that, like, okay, this isn't good, because while the hammerheads are a really strong anti-air unit, when it comes down to pitting them against each other, it's pretty well balanced. I personally feel like the Phantom has the advantage. Now, for that advantage, they also cost an extra 10 Tiberium, but the EMP that they output is really, I think, game-changing. It takes them a lot longer to reload. Now, if you park a Phantom and a Hammerhead, if they come at each other at the same time, the Hammerhead will win if you do not micro that Phantom away. And that's the real big difference there is that micro capability. Like, the, the Phantom cannot one-shot a Hammerhead, meaning four-shot a Hammerhead, really, in, in one volley. And it, it, it makes it very difficult for it to be in that level of play. The benefit is when you micro man, when you micro it, kind of like what, you know, that guy was doing. He was microing it. The problem was he stopped to micro his Inferno, and it caused him to lose it. All right, this is for win number 10. This is probably going to be pretty tense. Or almost not at all. I'm going to get that before his slingshot can kill me. Exactly enough for this. There we go. Block and victory. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't use his. Well, he knew it was probably going to die, but that was really his only chance was to micro out that, um, what are those things called? That shockwave thing that he had down in the lower left hand uh, side. But that's it, man. That's 10 W's. I'll take it. I wish I could claim that premium reward. It's pretty good for 600, um, mainly because of the, uh, the cloning chambers here. Uh, but you know what? We get 100 gold for that. Wow, is that worth it or what? <laughs> it's totally not. But Showdown is a lot of fun. I get to show off a little bit of... Just a little bit when you don't have... When you don't have to initially worry about Tiberium. But then you also do. I like that. I love Showdown. It's a great economic um, game. I hope you all enjoyed. I did too. I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye everybody.